Yo, what's the deal? It's your boy 12, 12 by, and let's talk Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X is the 10th installment in the Mortal Kombat franchise, and six characters have already been confirmed. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Cassie Cage, Kotal Khan, Ferator, and Devor. But who will flesh out the remaining 18 slots? Well, that's to be determined. And with the story being set from the end of Mortal Kombat 9, all the way to a span of 25 years later, all we can do is speculate. And speculate is exactly what I did. I took into account many different variables when selecting the final roster for this. From age, popularity, relevance to the story, and etc. Before we talk character selections, keep in mind that these selections are of my own opinion. And I went deep into the Mortal Kombat history than I have ever been before. From the games to the comics. So let's go. Dun dun dun. Test your mind. Alright y'all, so this should be fun. <laughs> All right, so on this particular list, I see that we have Scorpion, of course. He was already confirmed, so we're gonna skip over him. The next person in this character slot will be Liu Kang. The reason why I chose Liu Kang is because, well, it's Mortal Kombat, he has won a tournament so many different times. You cannot have um, Mortal Kombat without Liu Kang. Despite the fact that Raiden already killed him and stuff like that, but Liu Kang has been resurrected before as Zombie Kang, so he could probably come back as Zombie Kang or somehow get reincarnated like the legendary great Kung Lao. Next, we have Cassie Cage. It's already been confirmed. That's Johnny Cage's and uh, Sonya Blade's daughter. So yes, Cage got up in that. Woohoo! You hit me! <laughs> but anyway, uh, who we got next? We have Rain. Now, the reason why I included Rain on this list because yes, he was a DLC character. His character was a little bit on the spam side. But Rain actually has like a good history behind him. Rain is a character that you can expect to see his story arc um, actually evolve and develop in Mortal Kombat X if they choose to go that way. Again, speculation. So, next we have Rico. Everyone knows Rico. Rico was, um, what was he? He was a follower or something like that with Shao Kahn. Um, Shao Kahn promised him his own army, and so he went along and started hanging with Shao Kahn. You feel me? And then, yeah. So Rico actually has, you know, a good reason of being included on this list, um, especially if they're going to start that arc where it's like Rico's arc, you know, Shao Kahn's dead. So who takes over Rico's, well, who takes over Shao Kahn's position? Well, Rico. Oh, speaking of that, the next character on this list is Kotal Khan. Now, if you look closely at Kotal Khan's character, okay, Khan is a dead giveaway that he has something dealing with Shao Kahn, but I think he's one of Shao Kahn's ancestors or something like that, like Mayan ancestor or something like that. Because if you look at his, um, at his belt, you can see like the skull of, Shao Kahn's little mask that he, will, that he wore. He doesn't, he's dead. So yeah, I think he's an, an ancestor of some kind. Um, we already know Ferator. We already know those, uh, you know, it's a big uh, Master Blaster type guy with a little female who I really thought was a little kid. I thought that was a kid, not a female. I really thought Mortal Kombat was about to take it to a whole nother level. That would have been insane. It probably would have drew a lot of controversy. That's probably why they didn't do it. But at the same time, she probably is, you know, a kid. You know, so, yeah. Those those two are actually going to be a little fun to work with. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. But um, he does have a, a mode where you can actually get rid of the, the chick. And just straight him off some Bane Solomon Grundy type deal. So, we'll see how that works out as well. Let's see. Who is next on this list? Um, this person was another DLC character on Mortal Kombat 9, and I really think he's going to be in this game, especially if they do the arc the way that I am thinking of it. Kenshi deserves to be in this Mortal Kombat. I feel as though a lot of the DLC characters deserve to be in there because they, they're kind of like, 
included at the end it wasn't in the main story arc so these particular characters never died really like they they weren't even if i'm not mistaken they were they were in armageddon that's when the story arc picked up but for the most part when you rewind the story you know they're still alive so i don't know maybe i missed something while i was playing Mortal Kombat. maybe he is dead but i really think he deserves to be in this game as well uh, moving on who else to be in this game than Ermac? Ermac has so many different souls in him. It's it is amazing. It's the simple fact that like I believe Katana's father is inside Ermac. So all of these other people who you may want to come back, um, as far as like people from the comics or people who had their soul taken and stuff like that, they're probably already going to be in the game under Ermac's guys. So yeah, Ermac deserves to be in that game. Um, he is immortal. So, there's it, there you can kill him, but in the story arc, he can't be killed. He's, he's Ermac. Well, they are Ermac. <laughs> so, uh, moving on, though. This person, I really believe, needs to be in the game. Her name is Frost. Frost definitely needs to be in this game, and I'll tell you why. It's not because, okay, we need another Frost character or um, a, um, an Ice character. It's more of the simple fact that, like, Sub-Zero was her mentor but frost had this type of mentality where it was just like okay if you're better than me i hate you i despise you i want to get rid of you so she began to envy sub-zero and she definitely began to envy sonya blade so we all know that sonya blade and johnny Clay cage they all survived at the end i'm thinking just maybe i'm just thinking that hmm Frost kind of kills sub. I'm sorry, Sonya Blade. You know, <laughs> after the fact that she, after she had Cassie or something like that, I'm not sure. But like, I really think Frost is gonna have some type of um, some type of arc <clears throat> or influence in this particular um, Mortal Kombat series. Um, next up, none other than Raiden. I do not really need to say any more about Raiden. Um, I don't believe he died. And he is immortal. I don't believe he's a fallen god, so he's not mortal. He's immortal. So, Mortal Kombat 2? No, Mortal Kombat 3 did not have Raiden. So, I'm thinking, since this is the, the second reboot, Raiden is going to be there. Like I said, you can't have Mortal Kombat without Liu Kang. You can't have the tournament without Raiden. So, moving on to that, we already know we have Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero is already confirmed. He is there. I think he's gonna have if if they're making it, you know, every character has three different um three different outfits or styles. They may have a Cyber Sub Zero style on it. I don't think they'll give him his own character unless it's DLC or unless it makes a cameo in the story. More on cameos later. Next up we have uh Kira. And that's K-I-R-A. Kira is on this particular um list. Reason being is because she was affiliated with Kano and his whole clan and she is phenomenal she kind of she kind of she resembles like scarlet and melina in the sense of like the dual wielding daggers and stuff like that but her dagger style seems to be a little bit more on the on the the, the bandit type pirate type buccaneer type style so i really think that'll bring a new aspect to the game as far as bringing in the new generation or the next generation um and also i'm gonna let you know now I went on and left Scarlet off of this list. I believe she will make a cameo in the, in the uh, story mode, or they may make her playable. Because, um, you know, there are certain characters that weren't available at the beginning of the game. But as you open it up, you know, Quan Chi became available that you didn't even know was in the game. You know, so stuff like that went along. So I think Scarlet, I left her off my list, but she might be somewhere in there. Next, we have Cobra. How can I forget Cobra? I did not like Cobra in the previous Mortal Kombat games. But I'm thinking with the way that the industry is going, I mean, everyone knows that Cobra was supposed, well, originally started off looking like Ken. So, you know, he has that street fighter sense to him. And what better time to bring a mixed martial arts type character to Mortal Kombat with the way that UFC is blowing up now and all this good stuff. Cobra can bring that hand-to-hand that -hand combat that's really missed in, in Mortal Kombat. Every, like, Johnny Cage had it. But think about it. I don't. I left Johnny Cage off my list too. I left Johnny Cage off my list because I'm thinking 
just like in the Peter, um, the Peter, the PS Vita version, um, Scorpion kind of like kills him and like he becomes meat. So I know that's funny, and like I know it, it's probably not gonna happen, but I, I have meat listed down as like an honorable mention. You know, Cage may turn into meat, but Cobra, Cobra is a new hand-to-hand -hand combat person that I am gonna like. If he's on here, I will definitely use him to the core. Next up, we have Havoc. Everyone wants Havoc to be in the game. Um, everyone knows that Sub-Zero sided with Havoc at the end of uh, Mortal Kombat 9, I believe in the latter mode. So, everyone's expecting Havoc to make an appearance. It's only right, you know, with all the community fanfare going on, banter and stuff like that going on about it, they're going to include Havoc. Not too much that I really want to say about that character. Um, if he's in the game, there's definitely going to be a tremendous arc that's going to work tremendously well with Havoc. Next up, we have a person that comes from the Mortal Kombat animated series. And I hope I'm saying his name right, but it's Komodai or Komodai or something like that. My mother reproduced like the Komodo Dragon and had me on the back of a motorcycle and crashed. So yeah, I think he's going to replace Reptile because <clears throat> we need some type of... <clears throat> we already have Devorah, which is like an insect lady, but, you know, a reptilian. I really think he's going to take the place of Reptile. He's a little bit more humble than Reptile or, you know, for honor. Something, something that, you know, is really like missing in Mortal Kombat, especially if you're not going to have Nightwolf in there, which is who I left off my list as well, who was all about his honor and his ancestors. Shang Tsung is the next that's going to be at the um, bottom tier on there. I'm going to put him on there because he's kind of immortal as well. Not to mention the same way that um, Shao Kahn was going to take his life, but he was like, hey, propose another tournament. I will win for you. He did the exact same thing in Mortal Kombat 9. So I'm thinking he's going to like still be around in this one some type of influence maybe like a shape shifting or maybe he will be like Liu Kang or Johnny Cage or maybe he will be one of them and then turns out hey surprise I'm Shang Tsung bitch I'm really hope y'all enjoying this I'm trying to move as fast as I can um I don't this is my first type of prediction type video like this so I'm really hoping y'all enjoying this moving on um Shinnok everyone even me believes that Shinnok is going to be in this game why well Shinnok has such a big like influence over Mortal Kombat 9 anyway besides Raiden Shinnok you know his his image was was seen You know of him having some type of like mastermind He was working behind the scenes and stuff like that and also you know you had a uh, the, the deadly alliance and all that stuff starting So I really think Shinnok is gonna have a, a big influence on this game um, I wanted to say he was gonna be the boss, but I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it on a record that he's the boss but speaking of the Deadly Alliance, the next person on this list is Quan Chi. Quan Chi is definitely going to have to be in this game. Again, another major influence that he played on Mortal Kombat 9. So Quan Chi is going to be in the game. There's not too much I want to say on that character either. Um, except that when he throws the skulls, he says, follow me. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we have, oh man, this person. This person is real dear to my heart with the Mortal Kombat Conquest series. Shujinko, I think Shujinko is going to be in this game. Now, I am not going to go on record and say that he is the boss, but I will say that at the end of, um, when, once you beat the uh, the game, I think it's Armageddon, when you beat it with Shujinko, he goes mad with rage and wants to take all the realms and control them all. So he may just make a special appearance as, hey, I am the overseer, I am the all ruler of all the realms follow me or die i really think you know he's gonna have something if they do it that way that's probably what's gonna be his art but i'm not going on record and saying he's the boss moving on well we already know devora's in the game some type of insect queen bee bug type lady um i really don't think i'll be using her but looking at her videos she is definitely um a beast in all senses of the word next this particular yellow bombshell which is the original Nicki Minaj haircut with the bob in the front long and all that good stuff. Tanya with her cannonball drill that she does. Tanya, I think, is going to make an appearance in this game to, to level up and say, hey, we are the next generation. Forget about, um, forget about Melina. Forget about Katana, which I left off my list. Forget about Jade, which I left off my list. <laughs> forget about those um, ninjas or those femme fatales. Because if you remember, it took them a while before Tanya actually came into the picture. The same goes for Kira and Lee Mei and all those other characters. Lee Mei I left off my list as well. But she was in my honorable mentions. 
So yeah, I really think she's going to be in the game. And we have Hotaru. Now, Hotaru is one of those characters that's just like, he was he was a big shot, he was a, a general and all that good stuff. The reason why I included him on this list, and I really don't know why I included him on this list, besides the fact that his suit was some type of insect armor, so I'm thinking he's going to have some type of relation with um, Devor. Could be wrong, but yo, it would be epic if that's true. So, last but not least, this particular person, her name is Nitara. If you don't know who Nitara is, you better Google that bitch. She has uh, wings. She is like a vampire and a vampire type assassin. She loves drinking blood. So she's another like one of those um, hemomancers that just love blood. So she can take the place of Scarlet in a sense. You know, so yeah, that's the list. Um, and if if all of this is correct, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be like winning the lottery. The reason why I say that is because like it is so hard, it's a million to one chance to win the lottery. And I feel like this is what this is, winning the lottery. So chances are none of these characters like are not gonna be on there. It's probably gonna be a whole new list of, you know, mesh characters or like mixed characters mer merged into one. You know, Photoshop characters or whatever. I don't know. But if this if if 80% of this list makes it into the game I am going to be amazed it is worth mentioning I really I wrote down new Cybot I wrote down Cyrax I wrote down Sector I wrote down Baraka I wrote down or Nero which is the guy who um, initiated the well originally initiated the cyborg the cyborg um, ninja little initiation he had going on also I wrote down Hydro which I really think is probably gonna make a cameo appearance. Be appearance, camo appear, camo. You know what? He's just gonna make an appearance, okay? Tired, and I'm stuttering over my words because I'm just in so much excitement. Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. And I really think Hydro is gonna be some type of um, in the game, whether it's an appearance or actually a playable character, simply for the simple fact that. Hey, he was in Mortal Kombat Legacy. You know, he was in the comics, but he was brought to life in, in Legacy. So Legacy actually, I think, is going to play a role in the way they shape the upcoming game. Especially the Mortal Kombat movie that just came out. Um, that fan-made one that came out, you know, not too long ago. So I think that's going to play a role with it as well. But last but not least, I for actually, I did not mention who the boss is going to be. Now, on the pictures... Once I realized that the silhouettes were actually not really the characters, like one of the one of the silhouettes that stood out to me really reminded me of a character. And then I um I read that you know Ed Boon said that the character or the boss or whatever is gonna be so a, a returning character that we weren't expecting. Now for the most part, I did read and some of the um characters, well some of the fans out there really believe that this next person is gonna be the boss. It's not too many, but I'm gonna say it is, and I'll tell you why. The boss. Mr. Dream himself. Do I have to say his name? Freddy Krueger is going to be the boss on Mortal Kombat X. Why? Because at the end, he defeated Shao Kahn and he did it in the name of Earth Realm, but Night Nightwing. Night Wolf was about to uh well he actually did a seance or you know some type of jutsu that actually sent him away to the dreamland. But, in essence, he turned him immortal, so he started hunting people again. And he's, his last words was, I am going to come back and bring nightmares to Earthrealm once again. So, there you have it. I mean, I really think Fred is going to be back. And I really hope he doesn't haunt me in my dreams tonight. So, yeah. So, there you have it. My character selection predictions have been locked in. Let me know who you think will make the cut. Oh, and real quick, I am doing a PS4 compatible headset giveaway at 500 subscribers. So, make sure you subscribe. If you don't subscribe for me and my lovableness, my kindness, my laughter, my pain, my joy, at least subscribe for the simple fact that you can have a possibility of winning some PS4 headsets. Alright? So yeah, go ahead on and hit that button. And make sure you keep it locked right here on the 12 by network. You are here.